I work at an awesome school called Portland Youth Builders. It's in Outer Southeast. It's an alternative education um, school, and it's really serving young people uh, who the education system hasn't worked for. I really like my job. I like the combination of those two things, being able to do the clinic coordination and some administrative work, and then also seeing clients part of the time as well. So I'd been working in higher education for about 16 years, and what I realized was that um, working with a lot of academics, working in higher education, I, I really needed to pursue a terminal degree at some point. As a single mom, it wasn't until my kids were a little bit older that I felt comfortable doing that. And it seemed like a good time to kind of give back to myself and do something for myself. And so I started the doctoral program while working full time at PSU. I get to engage with people in a way that's really meaningful. Um, and so that means I get to kind of witness processes that are really special to others and I also um, kind of get to show up for myself too. I decided to go back to get a second master's, a master's of science in educational leadership and policy because I felt like I had a greater purpose in understanding who I was as a leader in education. I am a first-generation, undocumented Latina student. I also benefit from the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals Executive Program, otherwise known as DACA. Uh, navigating higher education as an undocumented and later documented student has not been an easy journey. Well, when I go to teach, what gets me out of bed in the morning, what I really look forward to is seeing my students grow especially my two freshman classes, like sometimes I can see their brain working. Like I can see them learn something uh, while they're thinking about it and that's, it's just really cool. I really like seeing just so many people gathered and like people hanging out and going to classes. I just love the feel of an academic setting and everyone's stressed out together. The most memorable moment in my program was the first time I taught a lesson that I had completely designed from scratch. I had made the materials, I looked up uh, useful websites that the students could go to to use their technology, and I taught it in class, and it was kind of a mess. <laughs> but it got better the second time and the third time I taught it, and I could see that I, I was improving, the students were improving, and it was a really uh, memorable, useful experience for me. I remember the first time that I was going to be a counselor and I was just like full of anticipation and excitement and then they didn't show. And then I had two more clients set up for that night and each time I got there and all three didn't show up because they had all forgotten that it was their night. An AP student was struggling to get through a presentation. This is probably my second or third week there. And uh, he just stopped talking in the middle of his presentation, put down a little slideshow clicker, and just said, I can't do this, and went back to his seat. And eventually, at the end of the period, there was a couple minutes left, and I asked him if he wanted to do it again, and he said yes, and he went up there. And he gave a great presentation, and the bell for the end of school rang right in the middle of his presentation, all the kids sat and didn't move a muscle and he just went straight on through for like three or four minutes after school and then ended his presentation and it was it was just great and uh, he shook my hand afterwards and he said thank you so much for making me do that like I really don't think I could have done that if you hadn't said anything and that was probably the moment that I realized I was gonna be a teacher. Overall diversity is just realizing that there's so many different approaches to the world and that there isn't one clear-cut way that people view things. So the program has really highlighted the importance of like cultural humility rather than cultural competence as something that you achieve. Um, and so kind of approaching our work as uh, like an opportunity for, for growth and understanding throughout our career. One of the hardest lessons I've learned um, and have and still learning day after day is just that the world is gray. There's no one right answer. The most important thing that I learned in a part of the PACE program was just the power of connecting with one another. I think that um, getting the experience of seeing so many of my classmates and learning about their backgrounds and what brought them to the PACE program, um, just that power through connection. The thing I learned is that I could be an activist 
with research. And I could go out, I could take my research and go out into the community and make change. So instead of a research paper just sitting on a bookshelf collecting dust, that it could, it could be um, heard and seen uh, by many other people by making change. One of the things I appreciated about what I got from the doctoral program was really learning how to acknowledge um, the biases that I think we come to the work with and we approach um, different things of our life with. Learning what those are, learning how to acknowledge them and call them out, I think is the first step for really understanding how to operate in a more culturally competent environment. Oh well, the future looks like for me I'm going to be teaching hopefully in a middle school because that's still what I want to do. They haven't dissuaded me yet. My goals are to enter the world of um, enrollment, admissions, um, and again have those conversations about higher education. So my ideal post-graduation work would be working at Voc Rehab full-time and then also starting a private practice where I can start working with people with disabilities on adjustment counseling um, and also with their family systems. We must advocate for these students, for these kids, and give them a voice to find understanding. And I believe that it is this journey that we fight for each and every day that can help us build those relationships and help us create those positive experiences for students in education.